Hey guys, I have come to a conclusion that I want to do more vlogging and less actual videos. I might get rid of my vlogging channel and I might just make everything go on my main channel. I really don't know what I want to do about that right now, but I honestly, having two channels to keep up with is just too much for me right now. So I might go dark on my vlogging channel at the very least for a little while and put everything up on my main channel. Um, and honestly, just see how that goes. And I'm sorry, I know that it's like dark. Like, if I have you over here, it's lighter, obviously. But I like the window being in the background. So it's gonna be a little bit dark, and I'm sorry about that. There's really not a lot that I can do about it, except for get a light, obviously. But, you know, I actually have a light. But that's for my phone. Okay, I got this little light right. I don't wanna blind you guys, but I got this little light. And so far, I don't like that at all. I don't want to break the screen. I don't know. Either way, I have this light. So we'll see if I need to use it. Oh, I definitely need to use it now. Well, maybe not. Maybe. Hold on. Anyway, um, I've just come to the conclusion that I want to do more vlogging and I want to do a lot of more vlogging. So I think I might actually get like a desk ring light and just like use that because I like vlogging from this angle a lot more. Um, and I'm gonna just vlog a little bit more and just like tell you guys my thoughts on a lot of stuff um, because that's what I truly truly honestly want to do right now um, first of all my thoughts on Iron Flame <laughs> um, <coughs> sorry my thoughts on Iron Flame so far because I literally have not finished it yet and it's come out like a year ago at this point and I'm just, I still can't finish it like honestly, it is to the point where I'm just like struggling through this book, you guys. Oh my gosh. Like I am legitimately struggling through this book and uh, it's just kind of painful for me to like be struggling this much. I don't even know why I am because I finished a different book. And that's like, and, and the, I started Iron Flame and I started reading a couple other books actually. And I finished one of them and then I'm back on Iron Flame again for a little bit just trying to finish it because honestly it is so hard like I'm, I'm honestly trying to force myself to just pick it up and read the dang thing and it's hard to do because it's like I don't know I just I don't the storyline is really hard for me to get into I'm not gonna lie like fourth wing I flew right through so I don't know why Iron Flame is being so difficult for me but I'm gonna try to read through it some more and just get it done and see how that goes. Um, but yeah, so I actually have a review for you guys, so give me one second. Okay, so I have a review for you guys, which bear with me with the lighting for right now, but this stuff, focus on Osea, perfect. So Osea, so this stuff obviously is the um, body butter. This stuff is amazing absolutely love this stuff so much um and then this stuff let me try to get it to focus there we go perfect so this stuff is also really really good um i love this stuff the body serum the body oil <laughs> um honestly i know that it's an oil I know that like that's what it's supposed to do and that's what it's supposed to be. I guess I'm just not really into oils right now um, because it's not my favorite product ever. Um, I love these two so much. The oil I'm still trying to get used to because it stays on your skin forever. Whereas these two, like this like soaks into your skin so easily and so nicely, which I've already used up quite a bit of it if you can see that. And that's just from like two uses. So because I got the smallest little trial size just to try it out. On um, this, let me see if I can get it out for you. This I've used up this much of it so far. Um, so this goes a longer way, I think, than the serum does, which I'm okay with because I actually love the body butter a lot more than the serum. But that's like the order of the stuff that I like stuff in, so. Yeah, I'm gonna get on Amazon and see if I can find a ring light to use now because honestly, I like vlogging on like this angle a lot more than on the other one. Um, so I'm gonna start making some vi more videos like this and we're gonna see how it goes. We're gonna see how it works. Um, I've wanted to talk about Osea for a very long time because I've tried it a couple times now. Well, a few times, like twice, I think. 
and I like what I'm seeing for the most part. I just have not had the time to, well, I haven't had the energy or the willpower to get on and edit vlogs. Like I still have a vlog to edit on this camera that I actually have to take off this camera and everything. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do that right now. I'm just like get that done and then continue filming for this video because I really want to. But I'm gonna do a thing where I film on this camera, my main channel videos. So we're gonna see how that goes. This is gonna be like the main focal point. So hopefully it works out. Hello everyone. <clears throat> it is Sunday. I don't know what date it is and I don't feel like getting my phone out of my bag that's over there to be able to know what date it is. But it is Sunday. Today I did end up going to an LDS church um, just because th that we have some family friends who it was like a homecoming and a farewell at the exact same time. So we went to that. I went to that at least. Um, Mom and dad were there too. And I have to say, it was really, really, and I'm sorry, but this is how the lighting is going to be until I can get an actual light to go over here. Um, it was very interesting. For me, I gotta say, I thought that I lost my beliefs because I thought that my testimony was based on what other people told me and nothing that I felt myself. But I don't even know if that's true anymore, honestly. I think that there was just like a little seed of doubt that was planted in my head by something or someone or who knows what and that seed of doubt had just kind of like flourished and gr flourished and grew that was just this by the way if you didn't know i use this tripod when i use my phone to film i don't know why i suddenly got that seed of doubt but like it was right before the pandemic hit and i remember that very specifically because right before the pandemic hit, i was like i don't want to go to church anymore and the pandemic hit and i was like yeah i don't have to go to church anymore um but it kind of just like stayed there Honestly, it kind of just stayed there. My, that seed of doubt stayed planted and then it just suddenly grew. Something one of my friends has told me once that I have never forgotten is like, if you look for evidence that the church isn't true, you'll find it. If you look for evidence that the church is true, you'll find it. And it's really up to you what decision you make and what you do with your life. And so that kind of, kind of stuck with me for a very long time because, well, forever, honestly. It's just stuck with me ever since she said that because I think that's so true. For me, I like facts over faith, and I know that's not really the case for a lot of people. Some people prefer faith, some people prefer faith of believing and everything like that. It's just, it's a very interesting concept to me. So I just wanted to talk about that because I haven't talked about my faith journey in a while, although I did talk about it in the blog that I have edited now. It's saved on my computer. I just have to get it uploaded, um, which I will probably after I finish watching Zoe's video here, Zoe Sug. But I just, I don't know really where I'm going with this honestly I just kind of wanted to talk about it because it's just it's a very interesting concept to me that so many people believe in a certain belief system so strong I just wanted to say that it's very interesting to see people's belief systems all being different and all being very connected or whatever anyway yeah right now I'm just uh watching Zoe Sug and I am drinking a drink and eating some food and that's about it I'm gonna go now my voice is killing me Hey guys, how's it going? It's a little bit later on in the day, and I don't know how to explain this, but I am just having the overwhelming feeling that I need to go back to a very specific church. It's called a singles ward, a YSA ward, young single adult, and I don't know why I have this feeling, but I'm having this feeling, and I might go back to church a little bit. Not a lot. Obviously, because I still don't really know what I believe in, but just a little bit. I don't know. You know, I really don't know what I believe in, what I feel right now. I just don't know what's right for me. So, anyway, I'm going to end this video here, and I'm going to edit it and upload it today, or tomorrow at least. So, keep your eye out for that. Um, this is going on my main channel, because I honestly just do not have the capacity anymore to put it on my vlogging channel I would rather have my vlogging channel be like my random like I don't even know what my vlogging channel is gonna be honestly but I don't think it's gonna be really a thing for a while I think I'm gonna move to this main channel and see how I do with that and yeah we're gonna see what happens so thank you guys for watching this video love ya and I'll see you in the next one